Welcome back ladies and gents. Today we're going to be learning how to do a point redeem on your channel like the TikTok time warp scan like this. Let's get into it. First thing we're going to need is to download the Time Warp Scan plugin from the OBS forums made by the absolute goat that is Exceldro. So go to the download section on there. I, I always use the download the uh, installer. So click that, download it, open the file, click the installer. Do this with OBS closed. If you have OBS open, it can affect the uh, the installation. If you do it while it's open, just close it, restart it. Maybe you have to restart your computer. So once we've got that all downloaded, so then what we're going to need to do is then we need to going to add this this filter onto your camera. So we right click onto uh, the camera. We're going to click filters. Uh, I do have one set up already, but we're going to set up another one. So we plus, and if you haven't installed it, you won't see it on the list. Um, but we just click on time warp scan. Uh, call it what you like. I'm just going to leave it as what it is. Um, We'll delete it at some point because I've already got one set up. Uh, so we're going to click OK. So then, what we're going to do, what you're going to see is it's going to run straight away. And you see, you can come up with all different effects. Um, but then, when we take the the eye off and open it, it just un, undoes everything. So here, it, there's a couple of bits we we do need. So on this bit here, it gives you the time that the the scroll happens. Uh, we have the line width, so that you can, as the time it was, it was three. I generally do say about fifteen to twenty, makes it wider. I like to go red because it matches me the border, uh, the line opacity. So again, you can make it as as um, see through or opac uh, as as you'd like, and then the rotation. So you play around with this. You can do different ones. Um, you can mess around with it in the orange board and make it do uh, so your chat can choose the, the angle i know certain people do that i just leave it to one and i change it when i want um so we'll on this occasion we'll do it to say 90 uh and then there is other bits you can do so on there which are, um but now we've changed it we can click the arrow see it makes the, the line thicker and it's changed the angle so we we'll just play around with it just mess around with it just see what you can come up with change the line thickness change the color change the speed um so once we've got all let's turn it back off so once we've got that all set up there then what we need to do is we need to jump into the orange board so what we're going to do is we're going to create a button uh this button is what we're going to use to trigger the uh the effect inside obs so we're just going to call it we'll just call it tiktok i have got one set up but we'll just call it tiktok because it's going to be a time warp scan on there uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to right click on on the um, on there and uh, we're going to uh, da, 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 we're going to add commands there we go because we haven't done it yet we're going to click there we're going to change the uh, filter just type in filter change visibility what we're going to need is the scene that it's on uh nested where are we if i spelt it right nested camera scene um actually no it's not on that i tell a lie because we've done it directly on the camera so we're going to call it on the snap camera c920 we're then going to do time warp scan 2 we are going to do it to true and then we're going to need to copy this paste it down there and then we're going to do it false but what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to put a delay in because we don't want it to just turn it on and off straight away. We're going to have to put a delay in. So I'll put, uh, we'll say, we'll say 12 seconds, 12,000 milliseconds. And we're going to press done. What we're then going to do is press done again. And then we're going to need uh, actual Leoran board, the actual deck. So we're just going to bring this in. I'm going to make it a tiny bit smaller. So we can fit it in on the screen next to the camera. Uh, I need to find the right one. Sorry, I've got loads of buttons. Loads of decks as well. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to press that. It's now going to scan it. Ooh. There we go. We've come up with all different effects with that. So then, as you can see, that will turn it off and then we're back. Okay. So, but what we want to do is we want to get this into a channel point redeem. Okay, so back to the Orem board, the uh, receiver. We're going to click on where we've got it in the deck. We're going to right click. 
we're going to add Twitch Trigger. So what we want, we actually want to add this for a reward queue, but we're going to need this as a point redeem. Um, we're going to call this Time Warp. So remember this, because this is what we're going to need. This is what it's going to it's going to pick it up when we make the the, the uh, actual button action. What I'm going to do, I'm going to call this Time Warp Two because I've already got one in. Um, so we click done. Click done again, and you'll appreciate that. So then, what we're going to do now is we're then going to go in to um, into your create a dashboard, and we're going to create a, a channel point redeem. So here we are. We're on your um, create a dashboard. Obviously, to do this with channel points, you are you are going to have to be an affiliate because um, that's the only way we can do it. So then, we're going to go into channel points. We're going to go manage channel points. We're going to create a new one. We create a new channel point. We're gonna. You have to call this exactly the same as what we've got it in on Leon board. So time warp to give it whatever cost. I generally do about five hundred. Get people put a description in what it's going to be, and I'm just going to create. That's then going to now pop up on you here. We then claim it, and then all being well, there we go. So now we've got the. And we can get all types of effects. So play around with it. Do all different sorts of things with it. Change the duration. Change the thickness of the line. Change how long you want to do it for. Um, I will put the links to the Time Warp Scan uh, in my Discord um, or in the description. They'll be in both places. But just come along. I use It gets used on my channel quite a bit. It's all it's all good fun. But we do stream over on Twitch, Bongo1986. Um, come along, check us out, uh, and have a good day. Peace.